Hello everyone, DB Pollen from AmbientVibes.com. What do we have today? Today we have the Allen, which is a reference to Allen Turing. So this is a Turing machine from After Later Audio. Now this is a 6 HP module, keeping in line with their Heritage line of series, as you can see a few more here. So this is the Turing machine, which functions uh, identically like the Turing machine originally produced by Music Thing Modular which is in a slightly larger size. I think it's 8 HP or so. This is 6 HP, so it's a, in my opinion, it's a very, very good size. Those knobs are, are, very, uh, are, are very reasonable um, to use during the performance. They're well spaced, and uh, it's great. What else can you really say about it? If you are familiar with a Turing machine, you would basically know how this works. So what a Turing machine will do in this case is produce a string of random notes and those random notes can be locked in by changing the change over clockwise or counterclockwise to give a set string of these random notes. As you can see in this case, it's two notes because the length is at two. If we put the length at three, it'll become three notes. So for those of you who are not familiar with the Turing machine, let me go through the basic functionality of this. So as I mentioned, at the top you have the length. So right now the length is at three which means it's going to produce a maximum of three notes in this string of, uh, how many we got here? 16 notes, okay? So if you go all the way up here, you're going to get 16 notes. If you go all the way down, you get two notes. Now, coming down here, the change I just uh, briefly explained, you put it over here, you're going to get whatever this length is amongst 16 here. Up on top, it's again, it's random. Now, let me turn it up a little bit here. Now, if I were to come up here and let's say, let's get about six notes going at a time. Adjust the scale, which is also the range of the notes that'll be produced. Now, if I change the change over to the five o'clock position, whatever is in this current sequence of notes will be locked in. So let's say like we get up to this point, and I like this string. Back to random. So I like this string of notes. Now this is locked in. This will not change. It'll keep on going. So if you get, if you're playing around and you get a random string of notes and you think, that, hey, this is really cool. I think I'm just gonna keep this. And you do that. And this is what's going to give you your sequence. Now, what you can do with this switch right here, see it says right. Just remember, to the right is to subtract, to the left is to add a note. So if I'm in a sequence of notes here, and I want to take out a note in the middle of that. Boom, take out a note. I'm going to take out another one. Take out another one until you're down to one. Now I'm going to add some notes back. Okay, so that's how that works. So I'm going to take them all out and I just hold it down. Nothing comes out. Now I can add them one at a time. Add a few more or hold it down and get a whole string of notes. As you can see, all eight LEDs are lit up here now. Take one out. Take one out, that four. And back up to random. So that's basically how this works. It's a Turing machine. Uh, now, Alan Turing developed a Turing machine to decode or decipher a string of symbols, which uh, during World War II was used to, uh, to send coded messages. And he came up with a mathematical means of decoding those along a paper strip. And this represents that paper strip. So it's decoding the voltage as it's coming out and producing a signal. Now, I have the signal coming out into an ADAC 207 quantizer and going into the BOSC. 
another Heritage Line module from After Layer Audio. That in turn is going into the Envy, which uh, which is, I'm sorry, into the Filthy, which is a filter, and then going out. Now, as you can see here, let me just remove these. So we have the clock. The clock, the clock is very easy to explain. That is simply the clock coming in from, uh, I have below a DLD right here. Okay, that's producing the clock, which advances the sequence. The output is going into the quantizer. Now, you don't hear anything yet. Because I need to plug it into the Envy, which is an envelope generator. So the pulse is coming out each time a note is lit, triggering the envelope, and that's going in, into, the, uh, into, the, uh, into the oscillator. Okay. Now, in, if I didn't want the uh, a pulse each time that the note is triggered here, I can remove that. And instead of taking a pulse into there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed an extra output from the clock into there, which I have coming out of a Divkids Mutes. This is just going to keep the envelope open all the time. Now, if I were to, instead of coming from a, uh, a clock here, back into the pulse, it's only going to trigger again on each LED coming up. So there you have it. That is the Allen from After Later Audio. It's a Heritage Line module, so it's 6 HP. I believe the price is going to be around $160. It's available for order immediately. And uh, be sure and check out uh, the other line of modules that After Later Audio is producing. They're all excellent builds, excellent sounding modules, and uh, will work very well in a, uh, in a skiff or just an additional basic module for your setup. Thanks for watching. Uh, click like if you like this video and subscribe by clicking the little bell over there. And uh, I will talk to you later.